The overall goal of this procedure is to prepare the abdominal epithelium of Drosophila pupae for immunohistochemistry. This is accomplished by first bilaterally dissecting stage Drosophila pupae and removing the internal organs such that only the abdominal epithelium, composed of proliferating imaginal histoblast and larval epidermal cells, remain attached to the pupal membrane. The tissue is then fixed, incubated with antibodies, removed from the exterior pupal case and visualized through immunofluorescence microscopy to show the gross morphology of the abdominal epithelium and expression of proteins of interest. Hi, I'm John Yoder. My lab is at the University of Alabama in the Department of Biological Sciences. Hi, I'm Wei Wang. I'm a PhD student in the Yoder lab. Today we're going to show you our method for dissection of the Drosophila pupae and immunohistochemistry of the Drosophila pupa abdomen. This method can be used to investigate processes of epithelial morphogenesis and tissue reorganization. We specifically use this technique to investigate the development of sexually dimorphic morphology of the adult Drosophila abdomen. From a 25 degrees Celsius population vial without adults, identify recently immobilized pupae. Pupae with cuticles that haven't yet begun to tan are considered zero hours APF. Using a wetted paintbrush, gently remove these pupae and place them on the lid of a humidified chamber. Using the paintbrush and PBS, gently wash away debris from the pupa cases. If necessary, sort the pupae by sex. At zero hours APF, Male gonad primordia are easily seen through the pupal cuticle approximately two-thirds of the way down.